Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, and um, don't forget to press that little like button down below if you guys do enjoy this video. Yeah, I got it. I know. I know, right? Well, this is what happened. I told Gabriel I want to get the orange pellet. He said, okay, how much is it? Give him a price. He gave me the money. And here we are now. I got the orgy palette and the mini orgy palette. You know, it is what it is. I, I did it. I wanted it. I did it. So I'm sorry. But how do you guys feel about that? Hmm? What do you think? How uh, do you guys feel about all the drama, all the, you know, issues, the controversy over um, a shade and, you know, all that stuff? I would like to know. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually going to get into it in this video and let you guys know what persuaded me to purchase the palette and, you know, kind of how I feel about the little tidbits of information and um, videos that I've seen and stuff like that. So we're going to get into that um, while we play with this palette because it is beautiful. Beautiful. This is the mini palette. So these shimmer shades, super, super pretty. Um, I'm going to throw in these swatches so you guys can see all of that. And I'll give you the names and stuff. This is the regular palette. Super big. And um, very pretty. Very nude very very nude and I love it sorry but I think it looks really really nice and um, I cannot wait to get into it like they could have you know downsized made it a little bit smaller a little bit cheaper but so let's just go ahead and jump into you know playing with makeup and talking about all this bullshit right so we are just gonna jump right into it I have done my brows I just put um, some concealer down I used both the Born This Way and then I used my Kiko one, but the Born This Way, I left my other one over there. I didn't want to get it. Um, so I used the darker shade, so it looks like I have nothing on. Um, but we're just going to jump in to the palette. Yes, I know. I know. Everybody's going fucking crazy over it. Whatever. So I wanted to talk a little bit about like the whole issues on this palette and you know I kind of like wrote down stuff that I wanted to talk about but I don't know it's just like I had the whole big conversation about it with Gabriel and I had a big conversation with my sister and um I guess like I see both sides of the argument that everyone's trying to have or I see both sides of um, the issue with the palette and um, where it's just like it's just it's a palette it's makeup it's it's what you know what is really the big deal like why is it something become something so serious and you know I see both sides of it like uh, you know just seeing the palette seeing the palette I mean I showed you guys in the beginning but um you know this is the palette this I mean it is what it is this is the, the mini like you have people on it yes they're naked but are they really they got underwear on let me just start by saying this I was on the fence on whether I wanted to do um, a video very very hesitant on actually doing a video and um, 
talking about it and stuff because it has become such a big, you know, it, it is a big issue with uh, for a lot of people. But I wasn't hesitant to buy the product. I mean, Gabriel was like, you want that palette? Okay, here's the money. We'll go get it. I mean, well, we'll order it, you know, because we can't go anywhere. Personally, I don't care for Jeffree Star. I'm not as into, you know, him, I guess. His attitude, I guess. Um, him as a person, I don't care for. I don't really support him as a person. I don't really care for. Um, I do think that he is a very manipulative person. You know, just... <sighs> Is it bad to call somebody a racist if you're not, like, really, are you sure? But, like, you've said a lot of fucked up things, you know? I, personally, am not into the whole, um, beauty drama, the beauty community. I'm not into the whole drama, drama shit. Like, let's be real. That's their life. I'm over here living my life, doing my thing, playing with makeup over here. Like, my bullshit little channel, okay? But it's just, like... Me as uh, a consumer for beauty products and as someone who um, records videos, I'm on YouTube, stuff like that, it's like you get the next trending item. And yes, of course, right now, Jeffree Star's products are not trending because nobody's buying that, uh, his stuff. Uh, as far as this new collection, the nude collection, nobody's buying it. There's only like one thing that I've seen that is sold out and that's the chocolate um, soft touch mirror. And other than that, everything is still there. It's still online. And it's crazy because this was supposed to be like his next big collection that everybody wanted, which is crazy and stupid because so many of people so many have people. So many people were big Jeffree Star fans. We're big. I love him. I'm getting everything. Like, I have a couple friends who bought every single item he ever came out with. I think, like, if you're such a big fan of his stuff, is it that you're a fan of him or you're a fan of just his products? Which is where I come in. Because... I don't care for him. He's just so like in everybody's business and he has these receipts that he says he keeps on everyone just so, um, you know, if anybody ever said anything or I think I heard on, I forgot whose video, uh, I heard that he said he keeps re receipts or whatever kind of information on people so that they know he's in charge or like they can never come at him or say things to him or about him because he has all this information about them, right? So it's kind of like, it's blackmail, right? Um, so that's what I heard. I think that's horrible. I think that's very bad for a person to try to manipulate someone else or blackmail someone else or try to hold this over their head like that's fucked up and it's stupid and why would you do that and then try to deny it but then say you have it like it's a lot of back and forth there's just so much drama and so much like there's so many issues and what's crazy it's it's not the beauty be the beauty community as a whole it's a person here and a person there and a person here and it's like it's always every time there's an issue it's always the same people and you get the same thing from everyone so I don't know it's okay bye so I just had a whole conversation with myself and it wasn't recording so so from a parental state, from like someone who has younger um, children in my in my life and stuff like that. Yeah, they're too young to be buying makeup for and stuff. But I know younger kids, younger kids, and I know um, those that are interested in makeup and stuff like that. 
you know so from that point of view yes I agree that the ORG palette the ORG collection is not for kids it's it's not it's the name of it the packaging like the packaging is not for not for kids have some I mean names in here children are not gonna know but you have names in here that are just no the but at the end of the day it is makeup and it is up to the parent if they're gonna say yes you can have this no you can't have it like imagine going to like them going to their parents oh hey mom uh, I want the new RG palette you the what the what it just it doesn't sit well it's not supposed to be for for kids and I think that's where Jeffree Star didn't really pay attention to you know I have such a young crowd followers and subscribers and people who actually come go out and purchase my stuff and they are underage and they are you know too young to have to see something like this so explicit everything has just become so sexualized and so explicit and so like out there um, that children nowadays have to grow up so fast and because of social media and because of you know the environments that everyone is growing is in now every like kids don't have the opportunity to just be kids and I think that's one of the things that my sister and I have like really tried to my sister and I and I mean of course her boyfriend but like us as as women in these in our girls lives is like we want to make sure that they stay kids for as long as they can us growing up I mean we're 90s babies so we're like we grew up in that we had that awkward stage we had that you know uh, I'm not even playing with the makeup right now I'm just talking and not thinking that about social media it wasn't out then not thinking about that not thinking about oh you know growing up and wearing makeup and wearing all this and this and this that all the 10 to 15 year old kids do now and it's like it's so crazy to think this is what it has become um but i don't want to touch them until i get into the next thing but um i just feel like we have tried and we have tried to focus on making sure that even like when it comes to children's clothing like wearing like a kid wearing something like this off the shoulders i think that's too much i think it's too much and it's showing it's showing too much because of the type of people that are out there in the world like so i think with this palette it is very sexual it is very grown and children shouldn't have to or to children shouldn't be exposed to that right now so many grown people like no uh, uh, you're making a big issue out of makeup like if you don't like it if you don't truly support this person you don't support their brand their you know aesthetic their uh appearance whatever it is if you don't support somebody like that or you don't support somebody that represents this or whatever you don't have to buy it you don't have to spend your money on something that somebody else might want I agree with a, from a parental state that it is it, it is um, visually bad visually um, bad because of you know presenting this to someone that is underage and with such a huge following of 
uh, a younger demographic that it shouldn't, you shouldn't be releasing something like this because of these younger kids that are going to be following you and it's going to like in their minds it's you know makes them grow up more and I don't think that they should be growing up too fast because I mean let kids be kids and stay young for as long as possible believe me so a lot of people have asked for a fully nude palette Jeffree Star would be the one to make a fully nude palette. So, for everyone to have asked for an all nude palette, you finally get one, but because you got this whole bug up your ass on, not really a bug up your ass, but you know what, I'm, what I mean. Everyone's pissed, and everybody hates Jeffree Star, and everybody thinks this and this and this about him, and he has said this and this and this, and he has, you know, all the fucking drama, right? You finally get one, you finally get one, and, oh, look at the name, mm -mm -mm. so many people are so upset with the name of the palette, when you have other brands that have sexualized their products, they, NARS, NARS has or orgasm, orgasm blush, but everybody fucking raves about that. Everybody loves. Yeah, see the way I was gonna word that. Then, am I when I, I thought about it at first, it was gonna come out right. But then I thought about it, and yeah, everybody loves the orgasm blush. Change it up a little bit. Um, so, you have a problem with orgy? It's a word. Another, another one. Craving chocolate. I don't understand. Is it just because it's from Jeffree Star? Is it because of the timing? Is it because of his previous launch, the cremated palette? Everybody had a fucking issue with that shit too. I think I had a better conversation when I was debating with my sister. Not really debating, but when I was having a conversation with my sister and her boyfriend and I was talking about it to them. And then I had a conversation with Gabriel about it and he was like, you're making these very valid points. You're making, you know, you have a lot to say about it. Put it in a video. So Gabriel was like, you know, put it in there. Put, say this, like, you were talking about this. Put that in there. And now I'm just like drawing a blank on exactly what it was. I was making a good point on. <laughs> so the shade that I'm actually going to be using today because it's a fucking beautiful shade is craving chocolate what i have a question on is you have the shade let me show you i'm trying to hold it right okay you have the shade craving chocolate right here right has anybody looked up cunnilingus does anybody know what that means no press pause and go on google This was probably bad. <laughs> bad naming, but I don't think that I'm going to be on here saying, all right, guys, so I'm going to be going in with the shade Glory Hole here and putting that right on the outer corner of my eye. Yeah, I'm not going to say that. I mean, I might if I use it, but come on. So, Glory Hole. You don't got an issue with that one. Do you know what a glory hole is? My sister thought it was an asshole. What about this one over here? Gagging. Nobody got an issue with gagging. I'm never going to get monetized. <laughs> I 
I wanted to talk to you guys and tell you my reasoning of purchasing this stuff because that's the whole point. Um, it's not that I support Jeffree Star and it's not that I support his brand or him personally or anything like that because I don't care for him. Um, honestly, if you have swatched, used, have played with whatever any of Jeffree Star Cosmetics palettes, we can agree that his formula is bomb. It's so fucking good. From a consumer, from a creator's point, that is why I bought this stuff. It ain't got nothing to do with the person because you don't have to like the person to like their product. Yeah, don't forget to uh, like this video if you guys are still here and uh, make sure you are subscribed. Let me a comment down below how you feel about all this shit going on. And let's just get into makeup. So here are the eyes. What you guys think? I love it. I don't know why my eyes are getting blurry right now. So I went in with my Lashaholic lashes and I finished off the eyes in Okay. So, for my face, I went in with the Marc Jacobs, what is this, the Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer, and it's very, very smoothing, very smoothing, I love it already, and this is my first time using it. It is the L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in Sun Beige 106, it is a 24-hour foundation, oil-free, I did a video, my last video. So I'll go check that out. Oh, and then it does break and like sink into my smile lines around my nose and my, uh, you know, millions of creases here on my forehead. I don't know why, like, these creases are so fucking deep and they have been forever and I don't know how to fix this. But I need like this. Like I just need to lift. You see that? I just need to lift this and then keep it there. And then they won't be there anymore. But that doesn't work. It's a super tight ponytail. But that might, you know, I'll go bald or something. And, and I used my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in warm beige we are going to set our face with the 
Uh, Jeffree Star. What is it called? Magic Star Setting Powder. In the shade beige. Smells so good. I actually really like how that looks. That it was going to be too light. And it's not. So, perfect. I'm going to just go in real quick. Finish a bronzer blush, highlight, and lips. We'll be right back. And this is our final look. What do you think? Um, for a bronzer, I went in with, of course, butter bronzer. Um, and I'm trying out this Laura Hustle and Glow. It's a baked bronzer and highlights. Looks like this. So I'm trying this out, and it's okay kind of light but the um, highlights are really good for my highlight I actually used a little bit of that and I used um, these top two shades Ooh. lips is uh, dose of colors knock on wood and the Jeffree Star um, Christmas cookie right in the center with of course my sweet tea lip liner so uh, the video started off heavy started off uh, rough but I mean just doing my makeup as normal as you know um, as I would the uh, powder was really really good and I'm super impressed with that so this powder and my Too Faced Born This Way are right there at the top of my list as well right alongside with my Morphe powder so um, yeah Hopefully I wasn't like too aggressive or too like, you know, ditzy in the beginning on trying to explain, you know, my point of view on this whole uh, controversy with this palette. And um, yeah, that's going to be it. I just got some more packages in the mail and I kind of want to open them, but then I'm like, uh, should I wait? Okay, so this box has the Morphe Eyelid Primer. I will, excuse me, and I just dropped it. So the Morphe Eyelid Primer, I will be using that in my next video. Um, this is, ooh, okay, uh, Kate Somerville, I heard, I mean, I've seen a lot of people talk about it and how good it is, but on uh, the last video I was watching was um, from Laura Lee. And uh, she was uh, doing like a whole skincare thing, and she was using the Kate Somerville um, exfoli Exfoliate Intense Exfoliating Treatment. So I cannot wait to use this. I might use it today, uh, tonight actually. And then I got the Fenty Stunner Lip Paint in the shade Unveil. And, oh my god, this one I was super super excited for. Oh my god. Oh, bitch, I didn't know you was like that. Mm. Should we put this on right now? Oof. Mm. Oh, bitch. Alright, so that's one box. We might as well open the other one, right? Me, why not? I got the um, Amplifying Eye Primer. The Pro Filter. It is Invisipink. The Fenty uh, oh. Mini Instant Retouch Primer. It is soft matte. The packaging for these are so fucking pretty. I was gonna say cute and pretty. Okay, all right. Like on Mean Girls, girl. Um, yeah, and these are super super pretty. I love like this nude moment. So this I have featured in a video before. It is the Forsali Skin Tune Blur um, Perfecting Primer. This is super, super good. I love it so much. Pore failing, kind of. Um, super smooth, hydrating. I love it. And so I just got a refill. And the other one I'm trying out for the first time. It is the Rose Gold Elixir 24 Karat Gold Infused Beauty Oil. And, uh, oops. Um, a little white bottle. 
Oh, I forgot I got this. This is the um, Kaja Bouncy Shimmer Eyeshadow Trio Beauty Bento. I got it in Orange Blossom. So you got a shade here. This one. And this one. Aren't those beautiful? So this is from um, Thrust Tricks Cosmetics. I featured that I did a whole video on them with an unboxing. I got some more lashes. Their lashes are so so comfortable. And this, I love this box. Oh, look at these. This is in the um, style kiss. is uh dawn like a frosty white oh. and aura aura there was this girl i went to school with her name was aura and she spelled it like this but aura it's a u r a what would that be Ooh. Oh. Okay, so this one right here, look at that. That is going to be it for today's video. Hopefully, like I said, it was not too aggressive. It wasn't too much. Um, yeah. I had a lot of fun playing with this palette, and uh, hopefully, bleh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. Yeah, me playing with some makeup and, you know, just talking to you guys. Just try, you know, I mean, if you guys are interested, you can go ahead and look up um, any of the stuff going on and, like, all the drama videos and whatever. I don't really, you know, care for it. I don't like feed into it really so yeah um, if you guys did like this video or if you like this look go ahead and press that little like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, when you guys do like the video it does help me out it gives you know my channel like you know a little praise and um, kind of shares it a little bit more so uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy I, yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be it for today I will go ahead and see you guys in the next one and hopefully you guys are still subscribed see you later